Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV. And more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my 2022 Range Rover. Today we're gonna to take it for a drive. We've also got some guests in the car, so I may as well haul them out. Then we'll go for a full walk around, show you some of the tech on this car, some of the little features and tech and upgrades in this new Range Rover. Absolutely bonkers. First things first, then. And today we've got a brand new sponsor and a new game for you guys and girls at home to try. Today's sponsor is a game called Hunting Clash. Now, obviously, hunting in real life is not a thing, but if you ever wanted to hunt in the gaming world, Hunting Clash is is for you. Hunting Clash is a free mobile game available on Android and iOS where you can hunt a wide variety of wild exotic animals without leaving your home. Go and travel all around the globe and explore such awesome locations as Namibia, Kamchatka or Hunan. Upgrade your weapon, train your hunting dog and join weekly events to compete with other hunters and improve your shooting skills. The graphics on this game really stand out, especially for a game that you can play on your smartphone. Just look at the graphics on the screen right now. So what are you waiting for? Get hunting without actually doing any hunting, thank God. Hit the link in the description or scan the QR code here on the screen to download the game and start hunting. And more excitingly than that, you can also benefit from 100 gold, 70 skill tokens and two mythical lure cards all together worth $15 for free with the code Hunt with TGTV to kickstart your game. Redeeming the gift code is easy. You can see the three simple steps on the screen right now. So the link is below, it's in the description, it's in the pinned comment, the QR code is on the screen. Download the game, it supports the channel, it supports me, and it means that I can carry on providing content and buying silly cars. So on that note, let's get on with the video. So then I'm gonna get them out of here. I actually can't see them in there because of the tinted windows. I'm in here. <laughs> He's in here as well. No! Oh, good. <laughs> Are we having here. a great time? Okay, do you want to stay in there or do you want to come out? What do you want to do? Move in, ideally. Okay, well. Uh, Bob, do you want to settle in? It's probably better than your apartment. Bye bye. Didn't like that. <laughs> Here's my Range Rover then. We've covered the fact that it's an autobiography. We've covered the fact that it's the P530, it's the V8, it's four and a half seconds to 60. We've covered the fact it's an Iger Grey in my previous video. Wait a minute. Have a. I've got a soft close to do. Wait, 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 wait. Come on then. Gather James, come around, come around, come around. Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> so as just pointed out, the car has got soft clothes. However, there's loads of little features on this car that I'm gonna take you around and show you all. First things first then, probably the least dramatic part of this video, this is actually the new key. I say new key, it looks pretty much exactly the same as the old one, and it's got both keys are exactly the same. There's no valet key, they both look exactly the same as that. Anyway, when you press unlock, you get your running lights on, and these handles, actually pop out. The other thing you can do with this, press lock, they disappear in there, and the mirrors fold in. But actually, when you've got your key in your pocket, you come up to it, and you touch this, it will come out as well. And you'll notice also, there's LEDs inside the handle. Then we'll start on the inside, because there's loads of bonkers tech in here. First things first, but the thing I love about this car the most is the Meridian Hi-Fi. You've got speakers, literally, absolutely, everywhere and you've even got speakers in the headrest here and in the back you've actually got speakers in the back of the seats speakers in the doors and more speakers over there it's absolutely bonkers in here so this new tech then does literally everything it's really nicely laid out really easy to use apple carplay is an absolute joy on here I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable. I've had no glitches yet. I've been using it for about a week. Uh, it's great news and that noise is really annoying. We'll leave that for now. A little bit annoying. You do leave fingerprints all over it like that. But new for this new model, your glove box and whatnot is operated by these two buttons here. So you've got your top one here, which you fold down. I don't know what's in there. Your socket and whatnot. And then your bottom one is this button. There we go as well. Nicely done. Hopefully that doesn't break. Your seat controls are in the door as with the last one, so nothing new there, but you've also got your memory settings built in on there as well. This being the autobiography, the autobiography illuminated in the sills. Let's come in the back then. In the back, this is where it gets a little bit chaotic. As I said before, speakers in the top and the bottom of the door is literally like a nightclub. I can't actually demonstrate that in here. You've got your climate control settings here, you've got some sockets, USBs, USB-Cs only, and you've got this center console, which at the touch of a button, it's the autobiography, so it has all this. Touch of the button, it folds down like so. Meaning then you've almost got airplane style seating in here. Within this center console, 
you've got phone charging and whatnot. And I believe a fridge down here with more USB-C sockets. And also, you've got this screen, which is completely and utterly over the top. You've got seat settings here. You've got climate control, individualized climate control for the two uh, passengers in the back here. You can also operate the blinds. You can drag that forward and back to adjust the roof. And you can also adjust the blind here on the window, which is chaos, because now you really can't see in whatsoever. Look at those idiots, what are they doing? What do you reckon they're thinking? At this point. <laughs> in here also, you, it's really cool, if you press the coffee button, this... <laughs> slides out because underneath it you've got two drink cups holders i think that is probably the most over engineered thing i've seen in a car for a long long time and on your door here as well you've also got various lighting options and you've got the blind option to raise and lower the blind on the window and loads of other bits and bobs and obviously your seating as well is exactly the same as the front seats and you can actually recline your seat to be that of like an airline seat you can actually pretty much lie flat in here it's proper executive seating really really cool and totally unnecessary for my dogs let's come out then all right Tom right guys you're up um, we're going to start her up, I think. Come on then. Do you want me we're to start her up? Do you want me to hold the camera at the back? No, I can do it. It's fine. Or do you want me to start it? Would you like to do oh, the honours? Yeah, I'd love to. Lovely. Do you think you can be trusted with that? Yeah. Racing car driver? Mm, used to be. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, get them, they'll like that. <laughs> That's funny. Nice haircut, by the way. It's good, isn't it? Mate, you look better for five kilos lighter as well. I know, I've lost five kilos. All right. And that was just from the side of your head. <laughs> Far right then, please. I really didn't. So dual tip exhaust. Both sides. Yeah, that's probably cost me about 80 quid you doing that. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Is there modes that change it or not? Uh, there is a dynamic mode which we'll get into when we're driving as well. But, but why don't we hear it? Uh, yeah, toggle that. Yeah, turn that to the right. And you've got your dry Grass, mode. gravel, snow, mud, ruts. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, oh God, you. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm messing around. Rock crawl. Uh, wade. Configurable. Very good. We've got, I don't know, oh. what have you done? Comfort. Comfort. Go all the way to the end. No, no I don't think there's a valves open option. We're, we're, we're in comfort. We're in comfort. I, I don't use... want to break it, because you'll get quite angry with me. I will. I'm going to use eco, I think, most of the time in this. Well, Fuel consumption combined is about 25 apparently, but I reckon I can get that up to about 30. That's brilliant. They generally got a nice noise. Not no, generally. no, it's mega. It's no, mega. It's mega. It's and when you've got the door shut as well, it's not intrusive at all. It's really, really smooth. We're going to go into that though when we get that, going. That, that noise. You like it? it? Yep. All right, let's go for a drive then. Love to. Let's fire up then. Fire it up. Yeah, that is nice. It's a rumble, isn't it? You know you're in the V8. I tell you what, there's no mistake in that. I'm very comfortable back here. No one asked, but it's, it's nice to tell us. James, would you like your armrest up or down? Uh, at the moment, sir, I'd like it in the stationary position it's in. Well, that's for you to manage, okay? Okay. I'm excited to feel what it's like in the back. I've got a blind up. I need to turn. I've done something. I've done well, we've got a GoPro on the roof, so you... I, yeah, I was aware of that, and so I stopped. Yeah. If you do the window switch in the back, Archie, it'll put your blind down first and foremost. Thank you. You should know that for my car, Archie. So good. first impressions then, boys. Honestly, this is so quiet in here. It feels electric. Oh, another one. Another what? Range, 22, Blake. Oh, it is? Oh, there's another one, backed out. Wow. Someone that sells drugs was probably driving that. They Excuse are, me. They are the best thing ever. Oh, but can just it, chill back it's in. as smooth as like being in a silent electric car, but then you know it's still a V8. Yeah, I don't know how they, time in one? Yeah, but I don't know how they've done the balance so well. It's incredible. How happy are you in here? Mate, I honestly, I just instantly assumed the comfort position. So why it's so quiet in here, so the noise cancelling elements, so the speakers are actually playing very obviously subtly and sort of subconsciously, the exact opposite of the noise outside. You know when you've got noise cancelling earphones? Yep. The whole car's doing that. So that's why it seems so like, um, like when you speak, it sounds like almost like sound deadened in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that from the launch, they were saying they've got microphones in each wheel arch to detect yeah. how much noise and then it cancels in your headrest. Even up in here. 
that's crazy but you can you can feel it yeah. I mean as in you notice it but had I not known that tech was there I just think it's amazingly refined but it it's obviously a lot going on in the back lot to achieve that, which is... Uh, so good. So the autobiography, you can have hot stone massage, uh, pummeling, all sorts of different types of massages. Well, go see. steady with the pummeling. I yeah, don't I was going to say about the old pummeling. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you don't need to encourage me to pummel in a Range Rover. That's not going in. Is it not? It'll go in, yeah, it's fine. Will it go in? This channel's all right, we can do that. Okay, it goes in. Uh, what well, have you got in there? What are you adjusting in the back um, there, Archie? I've got, I've got lots. I've got cabin lighting. So would you like dynamic red? I've just changed something and I don't know what I've done. Do whatever you like, mate. No, I know, but have I done something? I wish there was a screen here that we could put up between the two. But just sunset orange. There. No, don't say that. No, it's fine. That's been fine so far today. Yeah. Uh, dynamic red. Anyway, I'm just playing around with this lovely screen which we have in the back. Um, but yeah, love it. It's so, so sick. Settings are these speakers, by the way, in your, in your chair? Yeah, they are in the back Is of the chair. Is that speaker? Yeah. yeah. The meridian everywhere on this. Unbelievable. That's carnage. Thomas says it's like being in a nightclub in it. It's so yeah, loud. I know, I have actually, I've heard the sound system as well. Yes. Can't, we, we, we could have played copyright free music, Tom, but we don't have any. We don't. Oh, no. you can turn off the haptic haptic feedback and do all sorts of stuff. Oh, is that got a layout? Everything. Look, is look. that now a click sensation on the button as well? Yeah, and you can turn screen. that off though. And no, I like that. I like to know it's engaged with my command. Everything's going there's on. There's nothing better in the, on the road, genuinely. No, no there's not. There isn't. It's absolutely mental. I wouldn't entertain even a conversation if anyone said anything else, would you? I will just say I'm not up for this debate. Well, I do have something coming later on in the year. Is it a Range Rover? Is it a Range Rover, though? It's not the same. I might as well just admit that, but that's fine. That's all right. This is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Love traffic. But in this, I do actually don't mind traffic. You know traffic. what? In this, you wouldn't mind traffic. I don't care. I'm so happy. The seats are actually comfier in this one than the last one. There's okay, I've got a dynamic here. There's a guy on his phone on that van, and there's traffic police and that lights. Has he seen them? I don't know. He is fully on the phone. There are traffic police at the light. He's going about to get done. Well, that's a six pointer. I mean, there's one. Mm. Here we go. Mm, that is. Hopefully. That's got to be a six point. That's going to be six points. Fully just sat there like that. He's gone through the junction at two miles an hour on it. Uh, sirens are going to go on any minute. No, no activation. He swerved it. Anyway, we can continue. Um, what else is What else is there to know about this new car? The tailgate, which I didn't actually show you in the walk round, it splits out like a normal Range Rover. However, on the back flap, you can sit on it. It's now got uh, cup holders, and some of the audio and some of the lighting is actually different in the back now as well. So you can actually full on chill out on the back. And we actually covered that in your video, didn't we? Not Archie. Uh, we did. Yeah, and I was sat there. It's a very, very nice place to be. Very nice place to be. What is else there to tell you? I mean, this car cost me one hundred and twenty-seven thousand pounds on the market. These are about thirty grand over, so that's probably what one hundred sixty, one hundred seventy grand car. I'm obviously not going to flip it because I actually just need a Range Rover. The Lister has now gone. I don't know if I've done a video on that, um, so I'm not going to flip it. Nice to know that I could. It's always nice to know that you're in something that's flippable, um, even if you don't act on it. Um, but yeah, they are actually selling it for that. I saw some people that profess to be car dealers saying, you know, that's not the real value of them. They're not actually selling for that, but they are. They're going to realize they're selling straight out. out the door. The demand for this thing is bonkers. And I think certain people don't fail to understand how much demand there is for this car because chavs love them, like footballers love them, mums on the school run love them. Yeah. City boys love them. Yeah. Supercar guys love them as well. Yeah. It's like run around. Chauffeur companies uh, love chauffeur them. Chauffeur car companies yes. love them. Um, Security company. Everything. Demand is just unanimous. Everyone absolutely loves these. That's in that in the market for you know, hundred grand plus car. Yeah. But there isn't many people that wouldn't have a love for one of these cars. Or Good use on fuel, Tom. This one's not going to be great because it's the P530. So it's average apparently on paper is about 25, 26. Not bad though. That's not, not bad. My Lister was averaging 22 miles to the gallon. Uh, and the majority of those miles were back and forth from the Cotswolds. So you would expect it to be at the higher end. Like that's the, that's the top end of what it's gonna be. Yeah, Around nice town, way. I think you're looking at sort of 15, 18 in mm -hmm. the Lister. Um, I run this in eco mode just the whole time, just cause I'm stingy. But it's too soon to tell what the fuel economy is going to be. But I suspect it's going to be better than the Lister. Mate, it's cool. Just about. I really, really like it. Do you know the thing about with fuel economy that kind of annoys me when people moan about it? It's like, 
it's no surprise. Like you buy the engine, you spec the engine, you choose that car, yeah. you know what the fuel economy is going to be. So when people are like, oh, it's awful on fuel, it's like it sounds a bit like me, James, when I bought the SVR. Yeah, but you I don't check it D on. before yeah. you, you got told off though. Your audience pulled you up on that. They said, what did you expect? You're an idiot. I know. Got did they like that? Actually, having said that, I'll say one thing about that. Having, I'll go back on my comment and defend Archie on that. The SVR, you know, when you buy it, it's bad. You do not have any preparation to quite how bad it yeah, is. Yeah, that is very true. It's true. It's isn't bad. It? You know, it's bad, and you're like, you know what? I'm here for the sound. I'm here for it and then you put 100 quid in and you go 80 miles down the road and you're halfway down you think actually that was like two years ago yeah. now not funny no not funny no. no actually not funny and when there's a shortage it's genuinely unusable leave I it at home do, I couldn't do an hour and a half journey in it I couldn't be bothered <laughs> no it's how what's the point might as well get the train I must admit, I'm not going to be using this round town all that much. I've got my Polestar 2, which I very much enjoy. So I'll be using my electric car, uh, like day to day, errands, going to the gym, whatnot. Um, but going to the Cotswolds, any longer journeys, you know, I've got, I need to go up to the afternoon. Are you going to come to the Cotswolds? Yeah, you are. You're coming to the cottage. Yeah, We're going to have I'd a nice day that. at Farmhouse. As, as will you, James. And whatnot. Yeah, I'd like that. It's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, yeah we're nice going to go to the Cotswolds. Wait for my lot. invite, okay, Archie? Yeah, well, you, I don't think you've been invited. Okay. <laughs> Driving around, something I do want to talk about uh, before you start shouting at each other and being horrible. Uh, four wheel steer. Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. We actually had a showcase of it earlier, didn't we? Yeah. We had to do a three point camera. turn. Oh, it is unbelievable. And I saw this guy smiling in his window because I knew exactly what he was thinking. Yeah. He was thinking, I'm going to make this and you can't. And the KN's got a good turning circle for, for SUVs compared oh. to um, formerly like the other range. So at low speeds, it does opposite lock, so when you turn, it Don't helps. Don't those wheels, Tom. No, I won't. We won't have an Allen Club, obviously, on them, 22 boy. 22 inch wheels on here, anyway. So we're absolutely fine. We've got low pros, it's fine. Um, yeah, low speeds, it goes opposite lock to help your turning circle. And then at high speeds, the wheels actually turn the same direction, which actually means that it maneuvers. The, the most I felt it is just changing lane on the motorway. Before, it feels a little bit sluggish and whatnot, but now it feels really nimble. It's noticeable, but without being intrusive. They've done a really good job. Yeah, when I saw it in the car park earlier, it just, it turned like better than a It was unbelievable. Hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hatchback, it literally like, turns what, like, He said, watch this. It reminds me of, lo you know like long, long HGVs, when you see them swing a tight thing, you have to do it, and the back, whole back does it. Obviously it's the same technology, but um, or principle, but when you see it on this, you're like, and I can tell you, as an owner of an old shape, it's not funny when you're trying to go in like a, a tight turning. No. You're doing four point turn. They thought of everything with this car. They actually have. Yeah. 360 degree cameras as well. So when you park it, you've got your four wheel steer and your 360 degree cameras, you can literally see everything. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a really cool like um, assistance thing that shows you how much space is around you. It's, it's kind of almost uncrashable really on that front, like parking and stuff. There's no way you can hit anything if you're paying like half a bit of attention. Yeah. Um, Really good. I think that's pretty much it. I think that's and do you know what? Covered. You know with this as well. You know, like an iPhone, they all sometimes only make like a small development on the next shape because they want to hold back features for the next one. I feel like this range. Yeah. It's, well, what's it. next? Like, like they they there could be something. They next. could have put in half the features of this, and it still would have been amazing. But they've gone like one hundred and twenty percent. There will be something next. Yeah, obviously it's gonna. It's one of the most historical and uh, like cars, aren't you? It's Perfect. not just a car, it's an institution. It's unbelievable. And if you don't get the Range Rover thing yet, just take one for a test drive. Just take one for a test drive. Great. So you've you've got one coming, can got we say one that? Order. Yes, yeah. You've got one coming, that should be here within the next few weeks. Uh, I've ordered one for Mahmood as well. Yep. So I'm giving Mahmood one. Um, I don't Cheers. know if I've told him yet, I think I have. Cheers, mate. Well, I'm not getting you one, am I? What use no? are you to you, me? You said you've got your own thing coming. Oh, I do, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So shh. I do have my down. own thing coming. Yeah. So it's Basically, fun. it's just going to be a convoy of SUVs. Yeah, SUVs. You can't beat it, can you? Can't. No. I was waiting for you to confirm it. Oh, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, that's that's it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All that. Uh, hopefully, that's a comprehensive rundown. There's, I hope. I tried to make that informative. I think there was not as much nonsense as there should have been in that video. No, it, but that, that's more. Inf that's informative. The nonsense in my video. You've touched on the performance of it as well, haven't you? The stats. And there's, there's other things that you haven't seen. Have Maybe you've seen it in my video, Tom. But you've seen everything. Not 60, etc. Well, I would say actually, before we go, there's a two year waiting list on these, and that's about to get worse. When people actually start being able to test drive them, typically the order book's full. So, uh, yeah, they fill up mm. at that point. So, I two and a half years, and that's Range Rover saying two years to not people put people off. So, actually, probably going to be more like three years, and you think that electric one's coming anytime soon, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, you'd be pulling my leg. That ain't happening.
mate. Thanks for the experience, to be fair. Yeah, honestly, I've thank really you. really enjoyed it, mate. Okay, thanks everyone. Cheers. Uh, subscribe Cheers. and all that rubbish. Cheers. See you later. Download the game right now.